Hello everyone, welcome to another part of Let's Play Sonic before the sequel and the music just stopped. Really? It'll kick back in. There you go. It does that when you turn off the cutscenes. I don't know if it's, if, it's, if it's just a glitch or anything. Not gonna worry about it. This stage here is the bane of my existence. Because it combines two things I dislike. Slight mazes and the cotton effect from from Yoshi's Island. And I kid you not, this is actually happening right now. Stage overall is pretty fun and the music is pretty nice. But uh Like I said in, in the previous part, every stage in uh every stage in this game will have either a Sonic stage or a Tail stage. And this is obviously a Tail stage. Tails can fly like you hear can in Sonic 3. The only thing that's different between about Tails is his running style, and that will change later in the game. So, don't worry about that. Ugh. I could do without this stage forever. Go home, Tails, you're drunk. Pretty sure you can do it like that. Like, eh. I guess. Eh. And you don't really need to use those platforms, but those swinging, the swinging, these swinging things have spikes coming out of them. But the first time I played this, I forgot Tails can fly. It's like it's not expected for Tails to fly, since this is before Sonic 2. But whatever helps. Act 3 is no different from Act 1 and 2. Except you now have those pillars from Aquatic Zone actually blocking certain paths you can or cannot take. Why does it do this? I have no idea. But it gets annoying. What makes this game a little bit hard is the fact that this is done in 
the Sonic 1 format of leveling. So these levels aren't long, it's just a bit technical. And the boss stage is his own stage. Which is really weird. So it's a mixture of m many of the Sonic styles that you've come to know over the years. I think after this part, I might do two apart. Make this run a little bit smoother. Alright. Oh, good old stage from uh, Sonic. What is Sonic? 3D Blast? Really, really underrated game, in my opinion. I love the 3D Blast. It was different. While keeping some of the, the, you know, Sonic, you know, features. You know, it's it's what a puzzle game, a Sonic puzzle game would be like. Not like a, not like no Poyo Poyo or anything. So, next is the boss fight, and this thing is oh, annoying, but this is Tails' main enemy. You'll be seeing this a lot throughout Tails' levels. And let me tell you, it's not fun at all. I hate this thing. You know what? It's not even... It's not even that particular... It's, it's not even particularly this, this, this fact that this is this boss. It's just this how this boss is made. I hate it. Alright, then. Next time... You know what? I'm gonna continue. Screw it. I was gonna cut it off. I was like, screw it. You know what? Why am I cutting this off an axe for? The Sonic game. You, you guys want to see all of it as soon as possible. Don't want me to tease you forever. Oh, okay, Mr. Kirby, you're such a tease. Won't you be doing something with a Cockney accent? I don't know, lady. I really can't do a Cockney accent. I think I'm making my British friends angry. Cause like, I don't like the Cockney accent. It's not real. It's not real. It's not. No right? Anyways, this level is annoying. As far as Sonic levels go, cause. I, you know, I normally don't have problem making this kind of jump, but here I am, still here, and still having problems. And that happened. Really? I normally don't have problems with this level. Oh, excuse me. Hope I ain't coming down with anything. Act 1 is separated into three different... I mean, Act 1, but this is level separated into two things. There's the... Bottom of the mountain, the middle of the mountain, which we're at now, and then ascending to the top. Because the cutscene has Sonic actually running up to the top of the mountain. Also, these are, this is some really phallic mountains, I tell you what.
Yeah, you're gonna learn to hate those. What? Oh. Uh. What makes this level somewhat interesting is not the spikes. But the use of Sonic speed speed mechanics. And I'll show you in a second. Let's send. One second. Ah. Oh. Had an itch in the back of my head. Never good. Ah. Ah. This is probably one of the few reasons why I hate certain mountain levels in Sonic games. I really do. I really hate mountain levels. There's not a single mountain level in any Sonic game I've ever played that I've actually said, Oh, hey, I like that level. It's so, it's so good. I like it. It really speaks to me. It shows that I can once... One day aspire to climb a mountain as tall as this. No, it doesn't. But... <sighs> annoyance aside, Act 2 is complete. One day you can aspire to climb a mountain just like me. <laughs> now we're at the near the, nearing the summit. And... Less sonic mechanics. Well, normal Sonic mechanics, and more the annoying shit. Oh, and more, st more of these little spike balls. If you haven't gotten tired of these things already. Eh. Ah. Now, see, now I'm just griping. Let me stop. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Ah. Oh. I like to point out that son of a bitch. I like to point out that there's no actual pitfalls. You really can't fall and die on this game, which strikes me as odd that they that the creator would make that choice. Like even if you fall down a place, aesthetically you cannot fall and die into a pit. And that's why I'm using the Sonic mechanic speed mechanics to continue on with the level. But. I'm not I'm not gonna fault him, it's rather refreshing really. I think I've seen I've seen my fair share of bottomless pits in Sonic games. But uh it's not really a, a gripe, but just I don't know, it just feels weird to have a Sonic game that has no bottomless pits. It's like having a Mario game with no mushrooms. Oh, really? Give me the speed shoe? Okay. Now I can actually use it in here. Oh, there was a... There's a case around here somewhere. I'm not sure if it's in this level or in the previous level. No super... No special save for me. Where it's basically the Super Sonic. You can turn into Super Sonic in this game. But you gotta find these little boxes with the S in it. And... It actually just drains whatever raining ring power you have. Which is not bad. Alright then, this boss. Oh, this boss. You first gotta damage that thing, and then you actually gotta hit Eggman a couple of times. I think what really makes this bad is that it's a moving stage, and so Eggman is not really suffering from what I'm doing, like we're doing right now. I'm basically, kind of. If I slow down, I'll rubber band back. If I take a hit, I'll rubber band back. If I hit the, the f if I run ahead of him, I'll rubber band back. 
Alright then. That was two acts. That should be enough. Next time... Next time, we'll start Tails next level, which is very interesting. And I will explain it next time. <laughs>